In this calculus tutorial, I will show you guys how to write an equation of a line tangent to this curve at this point. First, what do we need to write an equation of a line? We need two things, right? The first is the slope, and second is that we need a point. We have a point right here already, that's good. Well, we have to find the slope. The slope of a tangent line, that's just the derivative. And right here, we can actually use the power rule. Right, because the question does not ask us to use the definition. So power rule for the derivative. Right here we have y. So you can put down y prime for the derivative, or you can also put down dy dx for the derivative. Same thing, doesn't matter. Let me actually write down dy dx for the derivative. And they are all just power functions. So we can do just put this to the front and then minus 1. 3 times 2 is 6 and then x to the second power, yeah? So do the same thing right here. This is a minus, right? You put a two to the front, and then minus one, so minus two x. And what's the derivative of just a number? It's zero, right? There's no x, it's just zero. So this is the formula for the derivative, but the slope is a number. We need a derivative at what point? Here, the x value is one, so I have to say, I have to let x equal to 1. And here's the notation that if you would like to use, I, I'll actually just say at x equal to 1. Let's just put that down. You know, dy dx. It's the slope. If you want, you can put down m. But this is just 6 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1. And that's going to be 4. Right? So this right here is the m, Yeah, the slope. And this point, we know this is x1, y1. So right here, we can use our good old friend, the point slope form. y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. And that's just plugging the numbers. y1 is 3, so this is y minus 3. And that's equal to m is 4 times x minus x1, which is 1. And that's pretty much it. But most of the time, we prefer to have an equation of a line in the slope intercept form. In another word, let's try to isolate the y. So let's distribute this real quick. y minus 3 equals 4x minus 4. And then let's add 3 on both sides like this. And we get y equals 4x minus 1. And this right here will be the final answer. Another question on finding the equation of the tangent line. This time we have this curve and we want the tangent line to be at 2 comma 3. Well, again, we need a slope, which is just the derivative because that's the slope of the tangent line. And we have the point right here already. Let's focus on getting the derivative first. Notice we have 2 over x. We have to rewrite that in order for us to use the power rule. So y equals x is still x, that's okay. But 2 over x, that's right here, is plus 2 times x to the negative 1 power, like that, right? From here, we can take the derivative, we get d dx, I mean, we get dy dx, and the derivative of x is just 1. You can look at this as x to the first power, bringing the 1 to the front, and then minus 1. 1, and x to the 0 is just 1, so just 1. Or the coefficient, right, just that. And for the second one, bring the power to the front, and then minus 1. That will be negative 2, and then this is x to the negative 2 power. And of course, we can rewrite this. This is 1 minus 2 on the top. x to the negative 2, you only bring down the x squared on the bottom like this, right? And then we want the x value to be at what? 2, so we let x equal to 2. So dy dx there will be 1 minus 2 over 2 squared, and that's 1 minus, that's 2 over 4, which is 1 half, which is just 1 half. And this right here, it's the slope of the tangent line that we want. All right, we have the point. This is x1, y1, and you know the deal. We use y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. 
All right, plug in. So 3 goes here. So y minus 3 equals m, which is 1 half. x is x. x1 is 2, so minus 2. All right, so for y, distribute this guy. So we get y minus 3 equals 1 half x minus 1. Finally, just add 3 on both sides. And we get y equals 1 half x plus 2. There you have it.